Welcome, this is HR The Works President Don Finn, and roughly five minutes I'm going to go over the five reasons why we make bad hiring mistakes. Now, I, I did a video previously where I talk about the five most important things that we want to do when we hire people. And, and I remember sharing that at a workshop in Sawgrass Mills to 350 uh, HR administrators at law firms. And I asked them those five things, you know, doing skill tests, knowing people's personalities, doing their backgrounds, doing the proper interviewing, and where required pre-hire physicals. Uh, it all makes plain common sense. And I asked how many people agree that makes plain common sense, raise their hand. All 350 raised them. Then I asked how many people are doing it. And less than one out of five said they were doing what they knew made plenty of common sense to do. So that stage, on that day, I realized the big question was, why not? Why don't we do what we ought, to, we ought to do? And I drove into that emotional challenge in the hiring area, and here's five of the main reasons. And the first one is desperation. I, you know, somebody quit today. I gotta, I'm growing so fast, I've got to just bring the bodies in. You know, remember when you hadn't dated anybody in a while. You know? H have you ever entered into a relationship out of desperation that's lasted? So you don't want to hire out of desperation. The bottom line for Don's rule is you don't put people on your payroll. You work with a temp agency, you go temp to hire, it's worth that fee after 90 days to have the right employee. You use an independent contractor, maybe use a leased employee, you never put them on your payroll. But the bottom line is don't hire out of desperation. Keep them on somebody else's payroll when you're desperate. Now the second thing is infatuation. And I will bet with anybody here that the most destructive people who have ever come into your life have come through this trap. Just ask the folks who invested with Bernie Madoff, okay? Uh, the reality is we can't judge the book by its cover. Nobody is better at manipula manipulating somebody's infatuation than a true villain is. So that's why my rule around this is we never allow for single person hires. You know, our parents could see things about our friends or, or people we knew that we couldn't see for ourselves. You can see that about other people. That's why you want to have a head check anytime you're hiring somebody. They're going to make sure, hey, are you falling in love with this guy or are you going through the process? Now, number three is recommendations. And we can't rely blindly on recommendations, whether it's your buddy telling you, I used to work with this guy, or it's a recruiter. And I, I give a very quick story working with a VC group in, here in California. They brought on a guy to be the president of, of a division that they were starting. They used a recruiter to place him. They were pretty desperate to get the thing going. I was the attorney at the time to do the employment contract. But I looked at how they brought bring this guy on, and I know a little bit more than just the law, obviously. I said, do you mind if I interview him for a little while and, and help him to draft this contract? They said, go ahead. And I started asking him some questions, which he didn't like that I was asking him. And he just stopped and said, I'm not here to have this conversation with you. Complained to the VCs and he said, Don, just do the contract. Well, to make a long story short, he was a complete failure. After two months, they canned him. He sued for a million dollars. I litigated the case for two years. Cost him hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it all could have been avoided had he let, let, they let me use a couple of good questions with them. So the reality is that recruiter, what I found out, was on the verge of bankruptcy and would have placed anybody with anybody and didn't do his questions. What I found out that the recruiter didn't find out is this guy was in, in, in a financial mess and on a personal bankruptcy of his home when he was about to be the president of a mortgage banking division. So that's the problem with recommendations. Baggage, and we've all got it someplace. So for example, Malcolm Gladwell wrote in a book, Blink, about the experience they had in Philharmonics where there used to always be men, visually used to seeing men playing orchestras. And the women started saying, hey, I play better than this guy, but I'm not getting hired because it is prejudice. So they did what they call blind auditions where they do their audition behind the curtain and you can't tell if it was a man or a woman playing. And, that, and because of that, they now hire twice the women as they did in the past. Here's the point, that orchestra might not look like what you thought it traditionally should look like, but now it sounds better. And that's why we got to get baggage out of the way. Another reason why we don't make single person hires. And the last thing here is laziness. And I'm not implying any one of us is lazy. In fact, we're all running 75 miles an hour. That's why I got to talk so fast so you can get through this video, okay? And, and now I got to hire somebody and I got to go away from what I'm doing, go deal with that. And I don't want to spend a lot of time there because I want to go back to what I'm doing. And so we just get it over with. That's what we hire people to get it over with. That is not a hiring process. That's a hiring event makes you event planners. So the answer is to have a checklist approach. Nobody hires till every single box in a checklist is, is checked off. Checklists are one of the very best ways to avoid mistakes. So those are the five reasons we might make
bad hires, I'm sure that's happened at your organization at some point in time, and what to do about it. Uh, below you'll see a PDF of a report that I did on 10 traps in the hiring process. Uh, certainly invited to look at that. Any questions, contact us. If you're not an HR The Works member, get on the program, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.